Welcome to our 2023 Jerry's Stocking Stuffer Guide. We've been doing this for a couple of years now, and one of the things that I'm very proud of when it comes to our Stocking Stuffer Guide is that we here at Jerry's Autorama, we're constantly trying to develop new products, new things. You know, for a creative industry like art supplies and, well, art, surprisingly, not that much new stuff comes out, but we really try to create new and exciting things for you to try, for you to uh, get inspired by. And so my hope is that uh, you're going to find something that you've never seen before in this list. 90% out of a top 10 guide, which means nine out of 10 of these products are things that you've never seen before. And if you've never watched um, one of these stocking stuffer guides before, 100% uh, will be new to you. So that, that's good math. That's good statistics, right? Number one is our Artfinity sketch marker set of 24. Now, these markers came out within the last year. They are phenomenal, professional quality markers, great for students, illustrators, um, anime artists, architects, you name it, okay? These sets are beautiful inside and out. The box is like, I don't know, getting a new iPhone or something. Uh, really, really nice. The presentation when they open their stocking and they see the set of markers is beautiful. You're gonna have a uh, little card here that uh, you can swatch your colors out on, which is something that everybody should do, swatch your stuff. And then you get your collection of markers here, uh, a good selection of color, nylon tips. Let's look at one of these bad boys. Um, you can see double-ended, you're gonna get your brush tip. You know, that's gonna give you the, the line weights that can vary as you um, go through it and push down. And then more, um, you know, chisel tip, more solid lines. You can do varied line weights depending on how you hold it. You know, thin line, thick line, et cetera. Uh, really nice pens and um, well-made, refillable, nylon tips, dye-based, permanent. I mean, just great quality professional markers. I felt that this fit, you know, nice in the stocking and was a significant stocking stuffer, but you know, you have different options. So. If you want a slightly smaller set, um, I can show you, we've got this set of 12 colors, right? It uh, comes in a, um, a box as well that's sealed, and I'll just leave it like that. A nice selection of uh, different colors. You know, this fits obviously even nicer in the stocking if you want to add more than just a, a couple of things. And um, you know, if you want to get serious, or if you're lucky and know somebody with really big feet, you can get them uh, the uh, 150 uh, stocking stuffer set of colors. And um, the good news is there are two of these. So uh, one for each foot, 300 different colors in this line. It's a professional line of color. So, um, you know, this is not just a, you know, one-off nice box set of 24. I mean, this is a humongous range of colors. Um, so depending on if you want this to be something that goes under the tree, under the menorah, or in a stocking, you've got options. And the Artfinity markers are legit, professional, beautiful, vibrant colors. Oh, why don't we just show some B-roll while I'm talking, huh? Look at that. Ooh. Ah. Yeah. Oh, you like that, Ming? You like that? Let's do a little... Wait, wait, wait. Let's go back and do that again. All right, I got to get off this and move on to the next one. This second stocking stuffer is uh, actually really really nice in my opinion. This is a collab we did with uh, Schmincke. Uh, they are a German uh, paint maker, if you haven't heard of them. High-end paint. They do everything from watercolors to oils, the whole gamut. But we did with them a exclusive set, beautiful little set uh, of colors. And I will just show you this set of the Hordam uh, watercolors. This is extremely professional stuff here. Nice, cool looking box. And inside, you've got 12 different colors, three mixing wells. Uh, you even got a, a small, I think it's five milliliter tube of titanium white. Really just, um, I don't know, it just, it just, it's a night, it, they make a lot of like tin sets, but like in terms of like a gift option, I felt like this was just really particularly done well. And uh, yeah, fits beautifully in a stocking. And this is for, you know, any watercolor artists out there that uh, maybe wants to try a new brand of watercolor or you thought make a nice little gift set. Watercolor artists like watercolor. Who knew? Uh, and even if they have an established palette, trying something new is a lot of fun. You get comfortable with your palette, that's great, but giving them something they've never tried before, ooh, that's, that's exciting. Okay, that's two products I get really excited about. Let's see if number three can keep me going. The next one up is the New York Central Watercolor Blocks 
four inch by 10 inch marine size really cool so if you don't know uh, the new york central watercolor paper this is a mold made paper internally externally sized and the blocks of course like any watercolor block are sealed on all sides except for one um, area where you can kind of slip a palette knife underneath or a butter knife or whatever you have uh, to release it after it's dry so it doesn't buckle these things are great it's you know traditional watercolor paper cut in an untraditional size which leads to some unique artwork what kind of artwork you might say well let me show you some examples i'm glad you asked so here you can see some artwork that's been done by our resident artist here at jerry's Adorama. Oh, i love hot air balloons they just make me happy i would never grow up in one but that's just me and uh you know when you're doing something on this like very wide landscape you can also do something uh portrait as well i really like these a lot of course like a lot of these things that I'm showing you, they come in all kinds of sizes, you know, individual uh, sheet packs, blocks, traditional watercolor paper sizes, um, the whole works. And uh, of course, cold press and hot press are available for you, you choose, or if you just like gold over silver, that personal preference. So this next stocking stuffer is a new product, like just about everything we're showing up here. Uh, this would be for your uh, illustrators, your architect and engineer types, uh, aspiring architecture and engineer types, whether it's student or if you know somebody that uh, likes to do very specific uh, drawing to scale, this is a proportional divider, okay? All right, this is legit, okay? It's heavy, all right? It's, it's the real deal. And uh, this is going to give you accurate proportion changes. Um, you know, there's plenty of how-to tutorial videos on how to use these things. And if you have somebody that's, you know, very specific about how they want things to uh, be, you take one picture and you want to scale it down or vice versa, take a smaller thing and scale it up. These dividers help keep things in perspective. And frankly, when it comes to these kind of things, even if somebody is really not that good at what they do, but they want to look like they're better at it, just put this on a shelf, man. It's just fancy looking, right? I mean, that's a good gift. Uh, so this is a brass proportional divider. It, it has, you know, my grandfather, Jerry, he, um, when, whenever somebody would show him something like, oh, I got a, I got a new watch or a new ring or something, he would always want to know how heavy it is. He was like, oh, how heavy is it? He, he put a lot of value in the weight of it. I don't know why. But uh, Grandpa Jerry, he, he, he would think that this is worth a lot because uh, it has some weight to it. So whether you're an actual architect, engineer, illustrator, really want detailed proportions, or you just want to pretend like you're one, um, or you need to, I don't know, pick some ice. This is a great tool to either use, put on a shelf, or keep in your freezer. Our next stocking stuffer is one of my personal favorites. We have created over the past year um, various swatching sheets. We call them their color diaries. Um, we have one that's for oil, acrylic, um, casings, alkyds, uh, and then we have watercolor versions, right? And uh, the watercolor versions will not only work for watercolor, but pastel, soft, and, and oil, and, and other various colored pencil. But these are really great. But one of my personal favorites are the travel size ones because they're adorable and they'll fit in a stocking. Okay, so if you're a watercolor artist, and I told you before about swatching, people like to swatch their colors, and it's a good habit to get into. What you're gonna get are these pages that are protected with these individual, what are these, glycine sheets, so that you get no bleedage. And the idea is you can swatch each of your colors, write down the name of it, you can do drawdowns, uh, then you can do mixes, you know, mix up your colors and, and have separate sheets for all that. These are actually super convenient, and um, if you use the New York Central watercolor paper, that is the same paper that is used uh, in these color diaries, so you're gonna see things exactly as they would appear on that paper. Uh, another thing about swatching a transparent thing like watercolor is that the paper does tint the color, you know, because it is transparent by nature. So swatching on that actual surface makes a big difference. If you're using like a, a super white um, watercolor paper to do your swatches and then doing a more natural toned watercolor paper, it's not going to be completely accurate. So whether you're um, swatching, you know, anything from watercolor to I mean, even, even gouache, whatnot, when you draw it down a little bit and thin it out, having the paper match makes a, a big difference. So this is the same paper as that New York Central, which means it's mold made and internally, externally sized and really high quality. And yeah, this is a great little stocking stuffer. And if you think that somebody in your life might enjoy a larger size, we have it in a nine by 12 for this and, uh, and a canvas type paper um, for the oil, alkyd acrylic, that various kind of stuff. So anyway, this is the color 
Painter's Color Diary. This is the six by eight travel size. Um, the sheets come out. You can put them, uh, you can take them out when you travel with certain palettes if you'd like, and then they just pop right back in. And then there's all kinds of other things. There's like a binder you can keep them in. I mean, whatever, you can go nuts. But uh, for me, this is just a great item. And it's also really good because swatching is so important to me because sometimes I don't even know, like I'm trying to get into that zone to paint and just swatching is so easy and low maintenance and it just, it gets that muscle memory going and it makes me not worry so much about the lines that I'm making and I'm just sort of filling boxes. And next thing you know, I'm like, I'm like warmed up to paint. So the uh, Painter's Color Diary Travel, great stocking stuffer for you this year. Next stocking stuffer, new item, the Vesta Synthetic Brushes. Now these are uh, really, really well-made synthetic brushes, perfect, especially for acrylic painters. I always say the synthetic hair for the synthetic paint, acrylic paint, works beautifully together. The way that they're made, they have interlocking bristles that keeps it kind of tucked in the way you'd expect a, a high quality hog bristle hair. Uh, the tips are flagged, basically like those little split ends that you get on that natural hair that hold more paint. Um, this is a set of the rounds. This is one of the slimmest sets, fits really easily into any stocking, but they come in all different types of sets, uh, flats, um, uh, brights, uh, I guess these are filberts and uh, I think I just named these all incorrectly. Okay, brights, <laughs> filberts, flats, and then a mix set. Uh, they'll all fit into that stocking, but you might give them a little uh, hint at what's in there and they'll be like, ooh, Vesta, what's that? That sounds fancy, and it is, fancy synthetic brushes. Um, and you can see some, I guess we can put some B-roll of what they're like being used right here so you don't have to look at my face for a hot second. Now these are gonna be a real workhorse brush, okay? They can take a licking and keep on ticking, as they say. You can scrub with them. You can do heavy detail artwork. You're going to find yourself reaching for this brush um, for almost any starting of painting sessions because they're just they're going to just handle so much stuff uh, and they're very um, well built. And I, I don't know. You're just going to find yourself reaching for them. I think. All right. Next on the list for the oil painters in your life are this little dynamic duo. We've got Instavar. We've got a gloss picture varnish and the Studio Solve. Now they are mutually exclusive products sold separately, but I like to give them together as a little gift because first of all, they're adorable. This is a little like three by 3.4 ounce travel size. Um, and so essentially the Studio Solve is a uh, odorless paint thinner. Um, it, it does a great job. Um, cleaning your brushes without, you know, creating a lot of noxious gases in the air. Uh, and of course, like it, I've, this one is actually like pretty odorless, like not like low odor, like there's other solvents on the market that are low odor or they say they're no odor, but this is pretty much no odor. It's impressive and almost a little scary. Um, how they do that, how do they get the smell out? I don't know, but they also get the paint out really well. Uh, and then you have the Instavar. Now, this is really great. If you have not um, varnished before, this is the way to get started. If you varnish before using something more traditional like a Demar varnish, you're gonna find that this is gonna make your life a heck of a lot easier, okay? Demar varnish will yellow over time. You have to make sure that your oil paintings are like so dry, like six, 12 months, depending on how thick you paint and where you live. This makes it so much easier, okay? First of all, this works on oils, alkyds, acrylics. You can varnish over it all. And your painting only has to be touch dry at the thickest part of the paint, okay? So if you're a big impasto painter, just, you know, touch that little like thick part there. And if it's touch dry, you can go ahead and, and apply this immediately. Crystal clear, doesn't yellow, and then it's so easy to remove. Like just like gently with like a Q-tip using the Studio Solve. We'll show some B-roll of that right now, I guess. We might as well. Just look how easily that comes off. And then so once your painting is stripped of the um, varnish, you can just apply a new layer and you've got a brand new crystal clear painting coat and your painting's protected and you can feel good about that because you took care of your investments and your art. The other nice thing about these products is because of the flashpoint, they are safe to bring on flights, airplanes. So if you have a traveling artist or if you are traveling and bringing your gifts with you, um, they are safe to go on a plane. And speaking of gifts, this is the nice little stocking stuffer size, but they come in all different sizes. In fact, some of these sizes, if, if you just know that somebody really needs to varnish the heck out of something or clean the heck out of something, I mean, we've got here, 
messing up our set. I mean, you could you could put that in a stocking. I mean, there there ain't no way that won't fit in there. I mean, that is that is foot size, leg length. I don't know, ankle length. Um, so. I, I like to do these two because they're kind of cutesy and they fit together. And, you know, stockings, you think about like little tchotchke things. Or, but you also want it to be useful. But anyway, if it is something that you think that you have an artist in your life that would want to give it, you know, a real go, they do come in much larger sizes. I think even bigger than this. I think we've got like gallon sizes. Katie, get off your phone and answer me. You're watching TikTok again, aren't you? Can't even compete with y'all. And as I just verified with Katie as she got off TikTok, they do come in gallon sizes too. That will not fit in a stocking. I mean, unless you've got that big marker foot. All right, so the next item we have is uh, for your more picky particular watercolor artists, okay? Now, some people don't want to be told, like, hey, here are the colors you use. You know, we, we showed that palette before of the um, beautiful uh, Schmincke colors, but some artists are very particular and they like colors a certain way and they like to use a specific palette and sometimes they like to make their own palette. So we have got a treat for those artists out there. We have these half pan empty sets, okay? Now, you're like, give them an empty set. Trust me, if, if you're not familiar with watercolor artists, they will find purpose for this. They will all individually fit into a stocking. We've got a 12, a 24, and a 48 empty half pan set, okay? Now, let's just take a look at one of these bad boys. The New York Central half pans. I don't wanna break the box, because I want one of these to be sent home to you, okay? So these are like any of your high-end made palettes, only there's basically no paint in them. You can fill them yourself. You can fill them with existing half pans or whole pans. You can fill them with your own tube watercolors or especially your own special mixes. And then you put it right on that uh, color diary and you can have a little swatch fest. Okay, so you open up, they come with the pans in there. On the back, you'll see you've got that little thumb doohickey thing so you can hold it comfortably, or in my case, I can, yeah, like that, okay? Tons of palette space, two large mixing walls up here. Uh, you got those four little areas down there, okay? And then, you know, this is the secret, you know, only for the experienced people using these things, okay? I'm gonna let you in on their secret because I know it because I've been around this stuff a while. You can use this as a palette too, isn't that nice? And then we've got empty half pans so that you can swap things out and fill other ones as you need. Or if there's a color that you know that you're going to use a lot of, you know, you dip into that ultramarine blue all the time or that cad yellow light, we've got the whole pans and they fit in here just the same. You just take out two of the half pans and guess what? You got room for a whole pan. That's just pan math. And uh, another little tip is if you have a small, um, like fine writing Sharpie or a permanent marker, you can write and label on the side. That's what I do, like what the color is you put in, the brand, or if you did a mix, you can label it on there. And then you match that to what you swatch on your color diary. Mm. That is just art organization at its finest. All right, this last one on the list, um, it's funny to me because, you know, like there's always that person where, you know, you don't really want to put a lump of coal in their stocking, but you want to let them know you don't like them just a little bit. Um, so you get them something that looks like coal, but it's actually chocolate, you know, I'm being tongue in cheek. But if that product was going to exist in an art supply, it would be schmaltz. Now the product itself is legit. It's a great gloss resin gel. It will speed up drying time, make everything look nice, super shiny and bright, extends the paint, uh, makes it more transparent, all the wonderful things. But of course, but of course, but of course, schmaltz, uh, you know, basically translates to, to chicken fat. So it, it's funny to me, you know, your Jewish friends will definitely get it. Um, and uh, yeah, this Impasto gel is a phenomenal product, but just the name is funny, uh, even though it's a professional product. So just, you can put this in somebody's stocking just to see the reaction. Uh, I, I like this, I added it for a reason. You know, I, I, everything down to the logo reminds me of like a deli, you know what I mean? It's just a lot of fun. And if they have not used this sort of medium before uh, and they like to paint thick or they wanna try and experiment with something new, it's a legitimate product, you know? Um, Again, it's just a silly name. Obviously, I'm, I'm being tongue in cheek up here about somebody you don't like and put a lump of coal in there. But, you know, we all have that family member we like to give a little gag to, you know, a little, little, you know, I don't know what that is, but I did it anyway. So, yeah, schmaltz. Yeah, that's, that's chicken fat, baby. Yeah. We'll make some soup, you and me.
So schmaltz is an oil medium, okay, for you oil painters out there. It's an impasto gel resin. It's going to increase transparency. It's going to show brush strokes. It's going to add a beautiful glossiness to your paint. It will extend your paint, and it won't crack or shrivel. So uh, you can build up nice layers. It acts as a glazing medium to some degree. Uh, and I believe that this ha is solvent-free, so it's full fat, which lends itself to the name schmaltz, as I said, chicken fat. So uh, it's a versatile medium for you oil painters out there. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a fun product. Like I said, silly name, but a very serious art supply. And uh, you know, there's always that one person that you wanna give a, a gift that isn't useless, but it still makes them chuckle to get the reaction out of, you know what I mean? And uh, this would be it. You know, I, I've gotten like kind of like gag gifts in the past. And I'm like, OK, that's funny. It goes right in the garbage. I have no problem throwing things right in the garbage or donating them, getting rid of them. I'm very much I want a clean house. But a product that makes somebody smile but also is useful. No, that is priceless. All right. Christina has reminded me to put up this warning. I'm not going to say it. I'm tired of saying it. So I'm just going to put it here on the screen. Yeah, that's very funny. Put up what I meant for you to say. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. You're hysterical. All right, for our number one gift, stocking stuffer, right? Okay, if you've never seen any of our stocking stuffer guides, this is new to you. For those of you that have seen our other ones that we've done in the past, you know what a good gift this is, all right? Prepare yourselves. I should prepare myself for Ming to see it in the camera. The Jerry's Autorama gift card, and yes, the physical gift card does come in this really, really cute box with a two from, and you can even tell them how cheap you are on the bottom there. And boy, does that fit in the stocking better than anything else. Now, I know that some of you guys are not watching this on the day we released it, okay? Some of you guys might be watching this, I don't know, maybe December 24th, maybe even, oh, you bad parent, you. How dare you? December 25th at 3 a.m. You, what are we gonna get Timmy? We didn't get Timmy anything, I'm out of time. Oh, no, no, no. Jerry's has got you, okay? Now, I can't promise you a fancy little box and card, but if you go to jerryzanorama.com, you can get and print out your own gift certificate right now, or even better, email it to them somewhere in Hawaii. It, you, they still got time. It's not even Christmas in Hawaii if it's 3 a.m. where you are in the East Coast. And you can get them Christmas Day, a Jerry's Arama gift card, and they are covered. They feel loved, and they know that you were thinking about them. The last minute, but still, hey, nothing, something's better than nothing, right? Something is better than nothing. All right, I hope that this was interesting, fun. Uh, we try to have a good time with this. Like I said, there's tons of things. If you want even more ideas, you can go back and see videos that we've done the past couple of years. Those are also items available um, uh, that are great stocking stuffers in my opinion. So uh, we try to cover the gambit, you know, different types of mediums, uh, oil painters, people that like to do drawing and illustration, markers, whatever it is, uh, we have a gift for you. So thank you so much for watching. Happy holidays and good gift giving hunting, goodwill hunting. It sounded right, but it's wrong. No, it sounded wrong, but it's right.